Um, today I am bringing you my first Minecraft video for this channel, and um, I'm doing the map Asteroid 5251, which I just downloaded. I've never played it before. As you can see, it's just now 3:39 p.m. and I downloaded this 3:18 p.m. and it's a survival mode game type. And so let's just start it up, load it up. Oh, here we go. Oh, Diamond Peak. That's a good start. Um, please read storyline one. Welcome to the. So I read the thing and it told me to open and have this ready. So read storyline one. You awake in half days. You pull yourself off the floor and remembering the crash, a feeling of dread momentary hits you. No one will find me here, you think to yourself. You rub your eyes and look around. The smoking ship is in pieces. You feel lucky to be alive. There is atmosphere here. It is thin but breathable. The hull of my ship is still in one piece. I might get some useful information from the console if it's still op operating. Have a look around and check inside the ship. Okay, Mr. Internet. Is that my ship? Sure looks like it. No. Is it? Peek around. Oh, that looks like my ship. But how do I get in the other side? Eh. Look at all these blocks. They're like blue wool or something. Oh, coal. I actually probably should take that in case I need torches in the future. Which I'm pretty sure is it's everywhere. Um, okay, let's go into my ship. Right. Uh, I guess we're just smashing in. Old fashioned one. Please read storyline two. Okay. Back. Do. As you had hoped, the computer system is intact. You run an ore scan. It indicates an intric intricate cave system below the surface, rich in many minerals. At the lower steps, there seems to be a massive cavernous area. The scan also indicates anomalous material. Ah. Yeah, meteoroids the hell, and the craters on the surface. Well, first business is to set up the shop and survive. It's a good thing I have the bioterrain kit. The soil here looks fertile. Once I know I have the means to survive, I should explore the surface and check out the caverns below. The rest of the torches I would have would make good markers on the surface so I don't get lost and can, I can seal a hole in the ship as temporary shelter. Well, I guess redstone torches do work, but I would rather have other ones. But I guess we 64 buttons, really. Oh, that is so nice of them. I swear to God, if I die right now, rage. What does this do? Nothing. I'm just going to take some of these torches, because it looks awfully dark outside. Grass block, sugar cane, cactus, seeds, iron hire, rose flower, and... Oh, thank goodness, trees. I have a feeling I'm going to need those. And there's even a bed in here. That's nice, thing. Uh, let me jump. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, now guys, while we're on this, I just want to mention that, um, as you may know, may or may not know, I've not been putting up that much videos recently, not many videos, because I've been sort of contemplating whether I should be, whether I shouldn't be, what I really should be doing, and I guess study in school has sort of gotten in the way as well, but, and this is also my first Minecraft video, so what I came to the conclusion of is that I'll try something different, and I do enjoy playing Minecraft, I've I play it, I've played it only recently, but for quite a long time, oh, for quite, like, extensive amounts of time in the short amount of time that I have been playing it, a couple hours a day, I guess, so yeah, it's, it's very addictive, but, um, so I thought, well, people seem to enjoy Minecraft videos, and I, I seem to, I like playing it, let's just see how that goes, so, that's why I'm posting Minecraft videos at the moment, but, um, yeah, so I'll probably be bringing you a lot more of them, just, if, you, if you're watching this and you like a uh, you like my COD videos, you like my Gears videos, or that, just I mean, let me know, because uh, I can always change, but I can always change back, but for now, I'm just going to post a couple of Minecraft videos up, see how everyone enjoys it, see how the community enjoys it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And this map is actually pretty cool looking, to be honest. I'm assuming that's meant to be like the engine, which is why it has a red in the back. That's wool, isn't it? What the heck is that? That's wool. I'm not sure if the other thing was. It's like soul sand almost. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use this as my house or if this is meant to be like a. If this spacious. Oh, lag here. Dropping some frames. I'm not sure if the spacious is meant to be my house or is it meant to be just like a temporary makeshift. Cabin. I'm not sure, but I do feel like sort of making my own house because uh, it's always fun to make your own house. You get to choose your own design. But at least I have a lot of wall around, so if I want to make a bed, there's no lack of it whatsoever. 
Okay. Just getting some coal, make sure I don't run out of torches. And I'm assuming those grass blocks they gave me are definitely meant to be used for my trees. Because if you look around, it just looks like there's a lot of cobblestone and a lot of um, cobblestone and dirt. Wait, no, there is dirt around. It's not. There's not a huge lack of dirt, which isn't a bad thing. It means that I can grow stuff at least. And I don't know what that block is up there. It almost looks like sky. But anyway, just getting some coal, loading it up. I will need some wood though if I want to make torches, and I got 18 on me, so that's always handy. And I just don't want to venture too far out though, because you never know what they could be sitting around. I don't know what. Oh, this is cool. Oh wow. If every crate is like this, this is going to. Oh, well, they just. Oh, iron. Let me collect as much iron as I can. If I can make some iron armor quickly, that'd be nice. Oh my god, it's getting dark. This is not good. Mining. No, I don't want to mine that far down. Oh wow, dropping frames. Alright, I'm gonna need to go up back to my house. Should I just make my own house in this crater? Seems friendly enough. And they did give me a lot of glass. Well, let's just do that. Okay. I also like to be able to see what's going on. It doesn't have to be a giant house, just has to be big enough for the night. Oh, hang up. Build, build, build. I don't want to die. Not on my first night. And again, first night is generally the hardest, but we'll just see how we go. No, oh, dropping frames. Too many. Oh, goodness. I don't even care. I'm not even going to bother breaking it. I want to live. Let me jump. Oh, goodness. Mm. Far out. If I did not lag so much, this would be so much easier. I'm not sure if it's my computer that's lagging or the game, because, I mean, this is a really big map, and it could be lagging my computer. Wow, this is ridiculous. And this is just, I can't even do anything. Alright, there we go. Bit better now, but it'll probably start lagging as soon as I try to do something. Oh god, it's being like pitch black torches time. Where are my torches? Give me my torches. Oh, that's better. So I can actually see now. Mm, it's probably the waste of like all the glass they gave me, but I'm sure I can get it back. Wait, they give me two iron blocks as well. Wow, this, this is interesting. It seems like they're giving me a whole bunch of stuff to begin with, but I'm not really complaining. Mm. Oh, I don't need a roof. No one's going to jump in. Unless there's like some random ender dragon which decides you want to fly into my house. So nothing's going to happen to be honest. Just get that feeling that it probably won't. Ice, whatever, I don't care. Throw it over here. Okay, now I've got that sorted, now I should be able to get over that. Let's um, get my crafting table. Get some cobblestone. Um, I just don't have any wood. Which is annoying. Should I could probably, no, I don't want to go out. Okay, let's just throw that in there, I'm going with that, get some iron. Well, it's meant to be survival, but I haven't really seen a lot of stuff yet. Alright, there we go, there's some iron ingots. Got a crafting table, oh, whoops, I was just there. Um, I don't have any sticks, so there's really no point in me making, like, trying to make like a pick or anything. So might as well make some armor. Get prepared, I got enough iron. There's plenty of it around it seems like, so it's not like I'm gonna run out. 
pants. I am pants. <laughs> Nerd. Meow. I'll show you third person. This is a great fun thing to do. Okay. This is what. And this is him at school. He's got these high iron pants. You now everyone's bullying him. Nerd. Meow. Looks funny when you're looking at them, but yeah. As you can see, I'm using my kit in the Mirka skin. I don't like third person, I just use it to be funny sometimes. But yeah, I don't really like it. Third person view. It's slightly annoying. I don't know if it's because I'm used to the first person a lot, or if it's just, it just doesn't look as good. I get the feeling it just doesn't look as good. Okay, let's continue my armor making process with the helmet. And now the boots. Boots. Okay, there's the boots. Now let's go put the boots down there. Helmet up here. And the chest blue right here, bros. Okay, that's good. Now I'll get those last iron ingots. Get my diamond pick out. I don't really want to go out at the moment, to be honest. It's I'm, I'm a bit scared of the dark in this game, if you know what I mean. It says survival, but there's nothing here, which is really confusing. Was I meant to stay at the crater, or was I meant to follow the storyline? I think I was meant to follow the storyline. But, oh well, it's survival, I can do what I want. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Pokemon. Anyway, I think this is going to be an ongoing series I'm going to sort of make about this specific map. So, I mean, if you guys enjoyed this one, or even if you didn't, it would be nice if you would tune in for the next one. And I'll uh, post it up fairly soon. Alright guys, catch you later.